Hey everyone, I'm Ace here. I know, it's been a while. You guys read the title. So, is Ruben still Dante in DMZ6? Well, after listening his Twitter live stream, the answer is most likely yes. Well, kinda. Now, before you say something like, Oh, isn't he blacklisted by Capcom since he isn't Ken in Street Fighter 6, Dante in Pinnacle of Combat, and the Netflix anime? Well, if you're too lazy to check the Twitter live stream, I got you. DMZ5 mode bundle dropping this week. Stay tuned. So regarding about Ken, let's go back to 2018. It was around where Street Fighter 6 started its development, and one of its producers is Yoshinori Uno. Yoshinori saw an article regarding about Ruben Lang. Now, what was inside that article? Well, it seems like Ruben's words were taken out of context by a journalist just for clicks and views, and Uno, being Japanese, didn't understand any of the nuances and the context around it, and just immediately panicked and fired Ruben without asking the man himself. Ruben immediately got a call from his agent or manager, I'm sorry, I forgot who it was, and basically told him they are fired from Street Fighter 6. They tried to talk to Uno in person and ask one of the Capcom devs if they can talk to him, but Uno just declined their request and seems like he doesn't want to hear their side. Unfortunately. So that's pretty much it for the Ken situation in Street Fighter 6. Since Uno saw that article, did Itsuno or any of the DMZ devs saw that article too? Well, the answer is yes. And fortunately enough, they did their own research before doing any actions, and they know that article is taken out of context, which is why we get to see Ruben do the voice lines and mocap for Devil May Cry 5 Special Editions, new cutscenes, and I think for Boss Down Day 2. So yeah, it seems like Itsuno and the DMZ dev team are cool with Ruben, and I don't think he has problems with the higher ups from Capcom, because if they did have problems with him after knowing about the article, you know damn well he wouldn't be doing the mocap scenes for DMC5 Special Edition. So I think he's pretty cool with him, you know, so if there's like a DMC6, the chances of Ruben being Dante again is pretty high. Now for piece of crap, I mean, pick of combat, well, it's pretty much the studio Nebula Joy didn't have that much budget to hire big VAs, which is why you don't hear new voice lines from Ruben, Johnny, Dan, or any of the VAs for DMC. It's either you hear existing pre-recorded voice lines from the previous games, or just some random VA they just hired. Oh, and also around the time of its development, it's pretty much mandatory for you to be vaccine to get a job or whatever. And Ruben wasn't like, you know what Ruben's stance is for the vaccine. You know, he, he wasn't feeling that at all. So even if like Nebula Joy approached Ruben, he wouldn't still take it. Because you know, COVID, vaccine. Now I could be wrong though, because the audio from the live stream was kind of like chopping off for me. But I'm pretty sure it was something along those lines. Now let's get to the Netflix anime. It seems like Capcom doesn't have that much control on it. It seems like it's up to Eddie Shankar and his team if they want Ruben to do Dante's voice and apparently Ruben heard that Johnny Young Bosch has been called for the anime. I mean I guess we'll just consider that as a speculation for now but if it is true let's hope Eddie and his team will call not only Ruben but also Dan, Kate Higgins, Wendy Lee, you know all those voice actors from DMC. I hope they get to voice their characters because I don't know man those guys are just the voices of Dante, Nero, Virgil, Lady, Trish. Like I can't really see them with different voice actors, you feel me? If I did have some like misinformation and all that, please let me know in the comments. I'll pin it. Well I got some shit to do, especially finishing this DMC5 mod bundle. See y'all next time.